if you were concerned about a GI bleed, uh, what would we be looking for and what would be the most common surgical conditions that you might be involved in? Well, bleeding in the intestines is uh, in large part uh, due to a variety of causes which uh, change based upon the patient's age. Um, the most common reason for blood on the stool of an infant is what we call a fissure, which is a small tear uh, in the anus. Uh, as a child gets older, the next most common cause is typically a polyp, which twists. Uh, after this, we have a, a disorder called the Meckel's diverticulum, uh, which can bleed. Uh, there are a variety of other uh, things in the intestines which can cause bleeding, uh, all of which require evaluation, and some of which require surgery. You, you mentioned mention Meckel's. What is Meckel's, and how would it present it with the most common age? Well, a Meckel's diverticulum is an outpouching of the intestines, about oh, one to two feet from the end of the small intestines. Um, and it can present uh, in two ways. One, as an inflammatory condition, much like appendicitis, and that's called Meckel's diverticulitis. Um, that tends to occur in somewhat younger children. Um, it can also present, however, as bleeding, uh, which is described as painless bleeding in a somewhat older child there can be significant passage of uh, dark, bloody stool. And how is that treated? Once diagnosis of a Meckel's diverticulum is made, uh, surgery is indicated, and removal of the Meckel's diverticulum is curative. So it's a, sim it's a simple surgery, or is it a complex surgery? It's a relatively straightforward operation. And, and once you have the surgery, you're cured for life? Yes.